Good morning and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. It has been a while since I've posted on here and if you have been following me on Instagram, you would have seen that Aaron and I have moved back to Adelaide from Melbourne to live permanently. So that has been quite the journey. So if you've noticed the setup is a little bit different, that's because we are no longer in our Melbourne apartment and we are now living in Adelaide in one of our uh, family's houses. So I feel like I might need to do a separate video for that and give you a little bit of an update on everything because a lot has changed since my last video. But this video, as you've probably read from the title, is going to be a little bit of a skincare routine slash haul of lots of new skincare products that I have been using slash have received recently. All of the products in this video are from a small Australian brand called Organic Rituals. I have been using these products for a few weeks now and I am completely in love with them. So I'm not sure if you can see, I'm going to come up a little bit close and personal here, but my skin is literally glowing. And this morning, just before I came and sat down here, I feel myself applying all of their products, including a face mask and a scrub and everything so that you can see what the products look like and kind of get a gauge of how to use them and everything. So I've used them all in order. And then I have just applied my makeup and I love the way that my makeup sits after I've applied these products as well. So what I'll do is maybe just like sit over here for a second and put a video here of what the parcel looked like when I first received it and just show you a quick clip of all of the products that were in it as well. I'm a sucker for cute packaging and I think that the packaging that Organic Rituals has is spot on and really, really cute. All right, so like I mentioned before, this morning I film myself applying each of the products. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert the video over the top of this one so you can see exactly how each of the products is applied. Okay, so the first product that I applied this morning was the face mask and this is the Pink Detox Mask. It comes in a cute little 150 gram bag and what I did was just applied one teaspoon into my mixing bowl and then added about two teaspoons of water because I think it's supposed to be one to one. But because my one teaspoon was a little bit, is it heaped? Is that the word? I'm not sure. Like it was kind of coming on top of it. It wasn't just flat. So then I added an extra one as well so that I was adding the same amount of water as I was the clay mask. Once I mixed it up, then all I had to do was apply it. And they actually sell these cute little brushes as well to apply the mask. So I use that to apply my mask. And I actually find that masks go on a lot better and look neater as well when you do use a brush. After I applied it, I just waited for it to dry. So I think you're supposed to leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes, but I just wanted to wait until it had all gone white because when you mix it up, it's pink. And then when it dries, it goes white. So once the face mask was dry and I was ready to take it off, I just wet the little face cloth that they sell that I received in my package and used that to remove the face mask as well. As soon as I removed it, my skin felt so tight and so soft. I love, there is honestly no better feeling than taking off a face mask and just feeling it so soft and I could feel that my skin felt a lot firmer as well. Then I went in with the cocktail scrub. And to be honest, you probably don't need to do both of these on the same day. I would do them on different days because the mask is probably enough on one day and then this would be enough on another day. But for the purpose of the video, I wanted to show you each and every one of the products that I have been using. So I just did a little bit of the cocktail scrub and applied that. I think it says that you only apply a pea size amount, so a very small amount, and then rub it all over your face for one to two minutes. And then same thing, I use the face cloth to wipe it off. For me especially, my skin is a little bit more on the dry side, so I love any scrubs or face masks or anything that makes my skin feel nice and soft and smooth again. So once the scrub was completely taken off with the face cloth, I went in with the cleanser. And this one here is so creamy and soft, and I actually love the scent of all of the products. It's a very subtle scent and it just smells really expensive and nice and fresh, but there's just something really calming about it. So I added the cleanser to my hands and then rubbed it into my face. I also added a little bit of water to make it a little bit more foamy. Then once I was ready to wash it off, I once again wet my face cloth and then went in with that and removed any of the cleanser that was left on my skin. Next is my favorite, favorite skincare step, and that is the toning mist. I think that there is nothing more refreshing than just spraying a toning mist all over your face. This one here is beautiful and light as well. There are some that when you spray them, they kind of just like hit you in the face and it's a bit much, but this one here is really soft, 
and it is literally just a mist and it just kind of covers your face and I love waiting for that to dry as well. So once my skin was dry to the touch and the toning mist had completely settled into my skin, I went in with the, I think it's called a Hylovit A, and this one here is like an oil and a little bit goes a long way. So you don't need much, just rub it into your hands or you can apply it straight to your skin and rub that all over. And for me, I think I've mentioned this a lot now, but my skin is a little bit more on the dry side. So I find that adding an oil like this into my skincare routine or into my makeup routine helps my makeup stay on longer without drying out. Because a lot of times I have gone the whole day with wearing makeup without using an oil and my skin would just feel so tight and so dry by the end of the day. But every time that I use an oil, it helps my skin look and feel hydrated all day. Next, I went in with the peptide cream and it's like a moisturizer. And this one here is so hydrating as well. So I feel like if your skin is a little bit more oily, then you could probably do without the oil and just use the cream. This one here again, I just scooped an amount with my finger and then applied it all over. And a little bit again goes a long way. I was able to spread it all the way down to my neck. And I love the scent of this. It's really, really nice and refreshing. And last, but certainly not least, is the Awaken Eyes, which is an eye cream. And I love my eye cream. So I have two spots on my face where I always get eczema and it's around my eye. So one is on the bottom side here and one is up here. And I always get these two eczema spots that appear on a rotation like once a month. They will just appear for about a week or so. So using a rich eye cream, really helps when that does happen. So those are all of the products that I have been using at the moment in both my morning and my nighttime routine. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, my skin has been feeling so good lately and I feel like you can see it a little bit as well. It is literally glowing. So if you're in the market for new skincare and you love supporting small Australian brands at the same time, I think especially in these times, then I will link their Instagram and their website down below for you so you can head over and check them out. And stay tuned on my Instagram because I think I might be doing a giveaway with them soon too. As always, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. And if there's anything that I'm not able to answer, then I'm sure that the beautiful team at Organic Rituals would be more than happy to answer them for you. If you enjoy this style of video, then let me know by liking. And if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, then please do. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.